<laughs> How are you, Nisha Knox? The greetings to you. Sorry about the delay. Uh, but things are, you know, falling back in order. I'm almost done with the catch up. I gotta probably do three more, right? So that I can do the occult, which was due yesterday. So I'll do it today. Sometimes I do it Monday too. Anyway. Let's read. I've already tuned into your energy before the reading, as I do with everybody. So I already have an indicator, more or less, of what to pick up from your energy. Uh, we have the tree. The tree symbolizes prosperity, and it's also the uh, symbol for the ancestors. Okay? and generational lines, bloodlines. This tree is very full, green on top, green at the bottom, with plenty of water to nourish it, and a few marshes, okay? So prosperity is coming to you. Abundance. The tree, because it's green, also symbolizes health. So you should be in good health as well. And also, uh, if none of the above apply, then it may be that there is a calling from the ancestors to relay a message to you. Right? If that's the case, we're going to do another set of cards dealing with oracles. Okay, this is the number uh, number five, which is usually the the five of swords, five of wands, five of cups, and it's a bit of a negative. So the fact that this is a five is letting me know that this is an ancestor message. The number five is conflict. So maybe they want to warn you about a conflict. Either one that's looming or one that you're currently in, someone you know, or someone you're thinking of, and what to do to fix the situation. So we're going to put this aside and look at the oracle. Uh -huh. Okay, Isis. That's very interesting though that they're asking me to use the Egyptian cards because I do have the Egyptian cards here. But this is the oracle which relates to past lives. So there might be a past life message that the answer that the ancestors may want you to know. We do a seven spread. We read them as they're in now one by one. All records are done different. They can tell you an answer in one call, or they can tell you one answer in all seven spreads. Okay. Okay. There were two cards. <laughs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, they're telling me to read it. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Proper burial for freedom. Hmm. Sacrifice to Osiris, Lord of the Dead. Okay. It's funny. And the ancestors are very particular when it comes to proper burial. So this is definitely an ancestor message. Um, know what's required when someone in your family, because of age or time, is going to cross over when they are buried you gotta make sure that all of their wishes are met especially the ones who require burial like what kind of dress do you wear heirloom pa, pa, pa. that seems to be important to some ancestor of yours maybe not and this is um mm, your lineage also goes back 3,500 BC during the age of Hassel, which today will be Venus. 
and she is the daughter of Ra. Okay, these, these are Egyptian pantheons. So there's definitely something about you that you're bringing with you in this life, and it could be a it could be a royal lineage. Divine destiny. So, you may have royal blood, and there's something that you're supposed to be doing, and it's supposed to be like now. You're you reach a point in your cycle, life cycles, where now you have to move towards your chosen path, and this is being asserted by the ancestors. That are watching. Mm -hmm. The goddess of ten thousand names. This is powerful. It's in the reverse. And it's coming out next to the card of royal destiny. So you might not know who you are completely, or you might not even know that you got special beings or special life that are opening doors for you, eliminating obstacles, and protecting this divine destiny that hopefully you know about, and that now is the time for you to you know, get on. Oh, that was that was all. Okay. Oh, all right. Continuing on with the rose. It's a lady here. Taurus energy or Virgo or Capricorn. The, the green symbolizes her. Uh, a much older lady. And this could be an ancestor coming out next to the tree. You know, she could be a grandmother, great grandmother. Definitely because the green is the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a gentleman here. So there's a lady and a gentleman. This could be grandparents, great grandparents, or parents, but it's still ancestral energy. Somebody was a doctor, and another person was a school teacher. I'm hearing a surgeon. Mm -hmm. Nice. The letter. You're about to receive a, you know, okay, letter. But this could be a text. It could be an email, right? Or it could be by. Um, Courier, right? Regular mail. Uh, we're going to find out if we can, if we have time, what the, this letter is about. Uh, there is here, there's a candle here, and the yellow paper, right? So this could be about happiness, something happiness, something's coming that's happy, something that has been illuminated to this letter with the candle in here. Okay? And it could be about your ancestors. Maybe you inherited certain gifts from them that you don't even know you have. That could be the, the message here. And you're gonna get a letter or some kind of communication letting you know what this is about. We got the clover. Again, a lot of green here. It's in the reverse, next to the letter or message. So, one you know, of the clothes prosperity as well. It's um, special gifts of serenity, peace, and also charging 
uh, enterprise, but not like the Aries type, more like the Capricorn type. Okay, um, the the clover is very similar to the magnolia, the tough, and they can withstand any weather and temperature. That gives me Capricorn energy. If you don't follow this or research what this gift is or special destiny that you have to carry on, then your luck will reverse and the blessings may be taken away because they're not being used. Okay? Fish. Fish is also abundant and prosperity. In the reverse, not. Coming out next to the clover, also in the reverse, means that if you go through poverty, you go through hardships, setbacks, suddenly, it's because you're not following this call. I feel that there's procrastination here too, that you need to like get with it. <coughs> or someone you know. <coughs> you might need some clarity about your situation. Three, three, mm. Mice. Whenever mice comes out in the reading, there could be a depletion of finances, the beginning of ill health, uh, and also uh, deceptive friends around you. You know, taking your energy, taking stuff, uninvited mice. Okay? And it came out in the reverse. So your ancestors are protecting you from that. But the fish is still in the reverse, the clover, you know. So they are coming in to warn you so you can correct this. And I think it's just, you know, getting to work or don't waste too much time or don't procrastinate. Not anymore. Let's go a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the tree. Definitely a tribute. Um, there was a series, or I think a movie, called The Tribute, and it had to do with the ancestors, but it came out in the reverse. Uh, it's almost like they're back in a corner, where if you don't do what you have to do, that's going to also uphold them as well. Then uh, there's a, uh, a gift or access to the ethers that will be closed to you. Okay, this is the hangman in the reverse. Hangman in the reverse. Next to thank you. Next to prudence. Let's see. Hmm. 
this is temperance. But well, it seems both of them came out reading temper, uh, temperance. But something else is written here. But when I look at it, it tells me something completely different. And that can happen. Spirit can do that. Okay, so this, you might lose an opportunity for further blessings from the ancestors if what you already have, you don't stop putting it to use, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I think you know this. Well, maybe you put it in the back burner, uh, maybe you'll get to it later, or maybe you make the free will and the choice of not following this which can really upset the ancestors because they they know what else can do this but you Sources to do it. They tell me that you know what this is about. There's a woman here, blonde hair. It might be, it might be painted. She might be Caucasian or like Latina, Puerto Rican. Okay, getting lots of Taurus energy, with all that green, and olive green, mustard green. Coming out next to the union. Union, there's a union that's gonna come before you. And there's a woman here, uh, Taurus energy, now it's confirming, either wants to put a stop to it, or wants to nurture it. It came out in the upright. So to me, uh, it's not so bad. Let's see. A lot of green, not, it's not a lot of green. Uh -huh. You're going to find yourself with a whole different community than the people that surround you and they'll be better for you than the current present company and this is a group community people it could be the neighborhood okay uh it's like you've outgrown something here. and it's time now to move forward and start a new cycle where you might not be able to bring some of these people with you Coming out next to the blonde woman, she might be the source of this abundance or pave the way or act as a guide. I don't see that this is negative. Bye. They're like an auntie figure. No. Three, five, six. An offer is coming to you. A financial offer. It could be a new job or it could be a uh, contract. It's a contract job. It's a contract job. And it will lead to more money. Probably the king, the ace of pentacles. But this is some kind of opportunity that's going to be awarded to you. Coming out next to good society. This is going to bring all the abundance that I see here with all this green. And 
it's part of your soul tribe and you're about to meet your soul group or soul tribe. This is similar to the Three of Cups. This is definitely speaking about a cycle. The leading, the car which leads to spread the tree, the ancestors. This is what they have uh, to share with you. One more, three, three. Hmm. The night, the night. So be careful if someone is trying to do spell work to you, against you, at night. Uh, it's just the astrology. This is a two-edged sword. Someone could be an astrologer uh, attacking you or trying to. Or you could be the astrologer that has a great gift that can be used to bring profit for yourself and to educate others globally. Sounds like a light work on. Coming on next to the page of pentacles. This could be the opportunity that may be offered to you. Like maybe work on YouTube, TikTok, or then make money because they may want you to do something. Some, that's an example. They really are not saying exactly what it is, but I do believe that it's spiritually based. I do believe it may have something to do with like maybe what I do. Let's look at the gentleman and the lady together. Because I really do believe that this is an ancestor pair. I think he was the doctor, the surgeon, and she was the school teacher. Ooh, I'm getting chilled. That was right. You're all right. A surgeon. Get corrected. Very nice, very prestigious. Yeah, there is conflict going on behind the scenes. And they're watching it from the 9D, which is the residence of the ancestors. Good news is coming to you. That's gonna make you very happy, and you're gonna uh, feel a whole new way of being. Look at different you. The yellow, the solar plexus, self-love, self-respect, self-actualization, and with the person dressed in the green pants. That means that uh, you're going to walk into prosperity. The feet walk into opportunities. The hands create opportunities. Okay. And you have a purple jacket, which is the third eye, which is spiritual. So it could be the, a tarot reader, an astrologer, something in, in those lines, something spiritual. And you will be the authority on it because you're carrying the wand, the scepter, which confers authority over something. Mm. You got support, and you're gonna get support from the people that you're gonna be con uh, connecting with. I see you moving from this environment, and you also have the support of the ancestors, which leads the spread. Very nice, very nice. What? Are, how? How are we doing with time? We got literally 30 seconds. If you want an extended reading, you can always go for an extended reading. But uh, this should be enough. We have its positive news. Right? Nothing negative here. More yellow. It's like a whole. Look at all the yellows. Yellows, greens, purple. All blocks and obstacles have been removed. 
and it was done by your ancestors. Yeah, there are projects here that you know about. Some of them you know and some are coming. But here's the thing, it's in the reverse. You rejected some of these projects. The blue here is the third eye and spirituality. So you may not want to do spiritual work. That's what's in the reverse. But it, it, it will fuck with your energy. You might get depressed, sad, or your whole uh, outlook might become more difficult now because you're going against your destiny. So this is a clue here. The, the blue, that's the third eye. Spirituality, you might be an empath. So we, we got to the bottom of it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. These are Hebrew cards. With, with the Hebrew letters and numbers. Two of Cups in the reverse. Now you see, Two of Cups is about lovers and a union. Okay? You might have broken off from a recent one and you might want to chill out. This can also be a business opportunity that you may not want to take because you might be dealing with people from your past that you probably don't want to deal with right now. Or you just need to relax and heal from a relationship with the two of cups in the reverse. Coming out next to uh, here, the projects and contracts. It may mean that uh, something didn't work out or you did not like a contract because it came from a particular person that you didn't care for or there's no trust. The two of cups in the reverse can also confer lack of trust in somebody. Somebody close to you, like sleeping with the enemy kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Literally, it says it. Abundance. There's the green. Abundance. Okay, we're going to end here. I think this was a lovely reading. I really enjoyed doing this reading for you, Miss Knox. And, uh, Please come and let me know how you like the reading and if you want to do an ascension. Again, thank you so much. I love you. And again, apologizing for the delay. Bye-bye.